Here we are again with a video of the wireless set 19. I have been trying to get it working in AM as good as possible. Uh, however, there is a little problem. The modulation is incredibly soft. Therefore, I am planning on using the intercom amplifier as a microphone pre-amplifier. Uh, but the intercom doesn't actually work. Not even when both the uh, when the function function switches are switched on. So time to put it on the workbench and see if I can find a problem. Now first thing we have to do is find out where the problem could be. Over here we have the IC amplifier which is clearly designated over there and here is the output going to the multi-connector. Now, I suspect two things could be wrong. The intercom amplifier gets its, pow gets its power supply via uh, switch S10, which might be faulty or maybe one of the soldering joints, solder joints has um, broken loose. The second thing that I'm think might be wrong is a burnt out um, output transformer which could happen if C29C has gone bad however most of the uh, capacitors even the paper ones are not that bad now V1F and V6B Oops. which ones are those I think one is a 6V6G, six, six it's one of these two tubes, and the other one, I don't know which one it is. The intercom amplifier is uh, made with these two tubes, um, you can't see it on the diagram anymore, but yeah, those are the ones, a 6V6G and a 6K7, 6K7G. Now we'll flip it over. Yeah, oops. Somewhere around here something is not working like it should. And the first thing I was suspecting was the switches over here. Mm, yeah, and to see if those work I should measure if there is continuity between the high voltage um, continuity between the high voltage connector and the anode of the V6P. And we do that with a here very simple tool, a multimeter. I have connected one of the uh, crocodile clips to um, pin 6, the plus 275 volts. And now I will check the datasheet about which pin is uh, the anode of V6B. VAB. VAB. The anode should be pin number 3. This is 1, 2, and this should be 3. And yes, there is continuity. So there should be at least some sound coming out of there. Next up, um, try to find the uh, yeah, see if the cathode resistor is okay. And I am now actually measuring the resistance. It measures one thousand eleven hundred and fifty ohm thereabout. It should be, according to the manual, 820. Now this is, um, yeah, it should kind of be replaced, but it will work just fine with it. It makes the uh, intercom amplifier run at a bit lower power, and that's always okay. So this means the tube gets all its voltages, well, except maybe for the um, filament supply, which is pin 2 and pin 7. But first I'm going to see if there 
is anything wrong with the secondary of the output transformer. Output transformer is connected on one side to the the output transformer is connected on one side to ground and on the other side directly to pin number six of the big multi connector. So we hook it up to pin number six. On 20k or something. Expect a low, very low resistance. Yes, indeed, we have a low resistance, which means the secondary is likely to be fine. No, there was no sound at all, literally, no sound coming from the intercom. I am now measuring the filament voltage, pins 2 and 7 of both the um, 6V6G and the 6K7G should be the filament connections. And weirdly enough the 6 V6 is getting about 9.88 volts, which can't be right. And the other one. is getting a, a slightly more normal 5.3 volts. Am I measuring this correctly? That's the question. So that means the filament is either getting overdriven way, way too much, or something else is wrong. Of course, the 6 in the type number indicates it's a 6 volt tube. There should definitely not be more than that on the filament. High voltage is not yet on, so I can safely touch anything in the radio. Well, I do want to see if any tubes show excessive brightness of the filament. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out the 6V6G and see if the filament is still intact. Simply by testing continuity. Over here we have the 6V6G, and this is what happens when I sh turn on the power. This one is glowing fine, this one is not. we go. That's what we want to see. Just a case of a wonky connection. Now, this would explain why there is no um, intercom signal. Let's try the intercom. Well, I found out what the problem was and I solved it. It was very simple. The 6V6 um, was getting uh, filament voltage just fine, however uh, the filament connections uh, are a bit corroded and because of that it did not, uh, it didn't glow. And now it does.
and it keeps glowing. So yeah, I'm gonna wobble it, wiggle it about a bit. Make sure it stays working. So yeah, I guess the uh, repair was just pulling the tube out and putting it back in. That's all for today and thank you for watching.